Here we have the 2022 GMC Yukon XL. And this one comes in satin steel metallic on dark walnut with slate perforated leather interior. And this one's gonna come in the SLT trim level. Powertrain consists of a 5.3 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. As we get to the front end here, we have LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps and LED fog lights. And this one has the 22 inch aluminum wheels. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. The controls for the power door locks, power windows, power mirrors, as well as memory seats. And then we have power folding mirrors with blind spot monitors as well. Premium Bose sound system. Four wheel drive controls, headlamp controls, trailer brake controls, a few others, along with the electronic parking brake. And there's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. We're gonna go ahead and scoot the seat all the way back. We're gonna hop in here. So I'm six foot three and I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size. And I'm still able to sit behind that seat, plenty of space. And there we have our rear AC automatic climate controls along with three stage heated seats for the outboard seats and that's part of the SLT luxury package. Then we also have a three prong household plug in there. And there's our third row. I'm gonna go ahead and see how I can fit back here. So that's my leg room in the third row behind the second seat all the way back. It's actually really impressive for me to be 6'3". I can sit in all three of these seats. Then we have a USB-C charging port back here as well. And then we have the luxury of vents for the second and third row too. But let's go ahead and check out the cargo space. So there's the back end of the Yukon XL and we have full LED tail lamps. It's nice to have. And there is our additional trunk space as opposed to the regular Yukon. And then we can power fold the third row up and down and that'll fold flat when the seats are up far enough that we can fold them back and then we can also fold down the second row as well if we need to put something really long back here and there's our power passenger seat with power lumbar support And now we're just gonna take a look at what's under the hood. And there's that naturally aspirated 5.3 liter V8. It's mostly covered, but you can see it down in there. But now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So 
So we have a heated leather wrapped steering wheel to start off. It actually got warm pretty quickly and it's helpful on a cold day like today. But new for 2022 on the uh, bigger GM SUVs, we have this Google screen here. So we have Google Assistant. Of course, we have our AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. But then you also get your news and your podcast as well. And then that is our Google Maps. Of course, you can see the traffic patterns and all that. Very responsive and pretty quick. Of course, we can pull up our climate controls either on the screen here or if we go down here, we have those dual zone automatic climate controls as buttons too. And then three stage heated cooled seats for the driver and front passenger. And we can turn on the rear AC controls and toggle them on the screen here. And of course we can lock it so kids can't fool with it. And then our shifter here, press P for park, pull up for reverse, press N for neutral, pull up for drive, press L for low, and then we can toggle that there. And then we have our backup camera, front camera, curbside view. And if you have a tow hitch and you need to back up, you have that view as well. And then as part of our premium package, the SLT premium package gives you the panoramic sunroof. Which of course is beautiful, but you can one touch slide, open and close as well as do the same with the tilt. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. And I will say, I love how responsive the sunroof is very easy to maneuver one touch for everything and there's our center console cubby space wireless charging pad USB-C USB-A port a little storage area here there's our glove compartment with our owner's manuals And up here, we can actually fold down the third row with the touch of a button, and fold it back up. So you don't have to go to the back to do that. Then we have our universal home remote. And then our lighting for the front there. But to the steering wheel, left side, we have our cruise controls, that heated steering wheel toggle, and then of course the gap adjust for the forward collision alert. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, we can go through our gauge cluster the all digital one and um, toggle our view there and then we have our Bluetooth controls here but to the left side of the steering wheel we can toggle our favorites and then to the right side of the steering wheel we can toggle our volume and then the steering wheel is also going to be power tilt and telescoping There's our push button start. And finally, here's our key file with remote start. And now it's time to go ahead and take this 2022 Yukon XL out on the road for a quick test drive. So for such a large vehicle, the 5.3 liter definitely gets the Yukon XL going with minimal effort. So there's not a big strain on the engine.
now this Yukon XL here stickers for right around $74,000, $75,000 with the premium package as well as that uh, additional package that I was talking about earlier. And then the 22 inch wheels that are on this one add another two grand few other extras but this one's pretty much loaded out if you don't want to spend extra on a Denali say the 22s are a tad bit louder than the 20s are but for the look you get on this vehicle I really would not have anything else other than these 22s So far, this has been really easy to drive for it to be such a, a large SUV. to give it a little throttle here. So it definitely has good pickup. And of course, if you get the Denali and get a 6.2 liter V8, you get 420 horsepower and it's gonna be quicker, but most people aren't gonna use the full power of that anyway. Personally, I'd go with this 5.3 liter because it's a little less thirsty. And just really, really nice ride quality coming down this back road. And overall sound, mostly I'm just hearing the cars zoom by on the highway next to me. And just a tad of sound coming from the powertrain when I have to uh, shift to accelerate. But it's a nice beefy sound. And it's kind of enjoyable if you want to put your foot down. This is going to bring me to an end of my review of the 2022 GMC Yukon XL SLT.